Hi, I'm Dr. Mario Ajero, and in this video, I want to go over some of the recording and connectivity capabilities of the Yamaha NU1 hybrid piano, like those found here in the practice rooms at the Stephen F. Austin State University School of Music. The Yamaha NU1 hybrid piano has built-in storage where it can record and save up to 10 different MIDI recordings. If you push the record button, on the bottom of the control panel on the left cheek block, you'll see that it says U01. That stands for the first track or first recording that you can save onto the piano itself there. You'll notice that the record button is lit up red and then the play stop button is flashing because it's ready to record. You can either push the play stop button to start recording or it will start recording automatically the very moment that you start pushing a note or pushing a pedal on the piano, like so. If I push play stop, then it saves it to its built-in memory. And then when it says end, then you're ready to play it back. All you have to do to listen to your recording again is play stop, push the play stop button again. And that was a really short recording, but I can either rewind or fast forward to various parts of the recording by using the plus and minus buttons like so. So that's particularly useful for those of you who just want a real quick instant replay just to listen to how you pr practiced a certain section or maybe a whole piece and uh, want just the instant replay to see if there's anything that you need to correct. If you want to re-record over that same track that you just recorded, just push the record button again and it will say user song one and then you can go ahead and record anything else over it. Push the play stop. And it will have automatically erased the previous recording and saved the new recording. If you want to save that recording and just record onto a different track, you can push the demo song, uh, excuse me, the uh, uh, demo song button and go to user one and then push the plus button to change to user song two and record on that track the same way that you recorded on to user song number one. You can also record simultaneously with a metronome just to make sure that you're playing within a steady tempo. Go ahead and push the metronome button and set it to the tempo that you want to practice at. Then go ahead, push the record button. And then you can start playing along with the metronome like so. Push the play stop button to stop recording. And then you can push the play stop button again to listen to back to the recording. Now you can make digital audio recordings that can be played independently of the Yamaha NU1 hybrid pianos. In order for you to do that, you need a, some type of USB flash memory device, such as this one. And there are many reasons why you might want to do this, particularly if you're a, a, another instrumentalist or a vocalist and want a piano accompanist to record his or her piano part for you to rehearse with away from the hybrid piano, then you can do so uh, with this recording. Those of you who are also pianists, you can also make professional sounding recordings because the piano samples on this piano are from a nine foot concert grand a Yamaha CFX piano. And you can make those type of recordings on this instrument independent of any microphones or anything set up like that. So let me show you how it's done. Underneath the keyboard on the left hand side, near the power button and also the two headphone jacks, is a port in labeled USB to device. 
go ahead and take your USB flash drive and insert it like so, just like that. Now to record on the USB flash drive, what you'll have to do is you put, have to push the demo song button, hold that down and push the plus button until you see A00, like so. What the A stands for is the audio space that you're going to be recording on the USB flash drive. Go ahead and push the record button when you're ready to record and you'll start seeing the play stop button flashing like so. Now what's different than what you have on the MIDI recordings that you made on the piano itself, the piano's built-in memory, it won't start automatically when you start playing keys on the keyboard. You have to push the play stop button in order to start the audio recording. Now if you want to listen to it back again to just make sure that it recorded correctly onto your USB flash drive, you can push play stop. Just be aware that unlike the MIDI recording that was made onto the hybrid piano's built-in memory, it won't start automatically until you started playing there. So there may be a few seconds of silence. good to me. So what you can do now is you can take that USB flash storage device and plug it into your computer, one of your computer's USB ports, and it should show up on your computer's desktop like so. And if I double click on that, you'll see a folder that's called user files, and the file that you recorded will be user audio 00, All, although if you made multiple recordings on the uh, flash storage device, it would be user audio 01, 02, up to whatever the storage device's capacity is here. If I want a preview on what that sounds like, I can go ahead and click on the play button here. pretty cool. You don't have any ambient noise such as like the lights humming or any neighbors from adjacent practice rooms practicing. It's all pretty clean, pristine audio that you can play around with. If you double click it, it will probably launch it into whatever your default audio player is. Um, those of you on Macs, it will probably launch iTunes and it will add it to your iTunes library. Then you can also sync it up with your uh, mobile devices such as your iPhones, iPod touches, or iPads. And that's the basics of recording on the Yamaha NU1 hybrid piano. In another video I'll go over the connectivity possibilities that you have on connecting the Yamaha NU1 hybrid piano to computers or mobile devices such as iPhones, iPods, or iPads, and show what you can do and some of the educational possibilities with that particular connectivity. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Otherwise, have fun practicing. Bye.